What's up, y'all? Logan Parker, Heirloom Builders, back at you with another episode of our series, Building It Better, where we talk about tips and strategies for building a better home. Today, we're gonna to be talking about three framing tips to build a better insulated home, and we're starting right now. This is your first time on our channel and you want to learn more about how to build a better home that's more energy efficient and is going to last a lifetime then start now by subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on upcoming tips and tricks to build a better home 30 percent of home energy loss comes from air leakage continuous insulation on the exterior walls and gaskets underneath your mud sill and the top and bottom edges of your wall sheathing will stop a tremendous amount of air leakage and energy loss right off the bat. The number one tip for framing a better insulated home is to use exterior rigid foam sheathing. We use a product called Zip R Sheathing. This Zip R Sheathing provides an R6 one inch of foam over every one of these studs. So we've got a thermal break to prevent heat and cool the inside air temperature from going to the outside. The benefit of using Zip R sheathing is it installs in one step, so it's no more labor to use this material than it would be a typical wall sheathing installation, except for the fact that you get a much higher performance out of this installation. So it's big bang for your buck. The other part of that continuous insulation and air sealing package is an EPDM gasket. We use them in two different spaces. We use them underneath our mud sill to prevent moisture and air from leaking between the top of the foundation wall and the bottom of your framing. And then we use one on the face, that inch and a half tall face of that two by six mud sill to prevent air from leaking into the stud cavity up through the joint between the wall framing and the sheathing. That's a critical step. So we use those around the perimeter of our sheathing. So at, on the mud sill all the way around the house and at the top of the walls. So make sure to have rigid insulation and EPDM sill and wall gasket on site before you start framing. See links in the description below for where to find the right product for you. The second tip for framing a better insulated home is to use two by sixes for your wall framing instead of two by fours because that extra two inches of wood is gonna give you 50% more insulation right off the bat. The second part of that is to use an insulated header. So what is a header? A header is the structural timbers that support the weight of the floors and roof above over top of window and door openings. And since wood is not a good insulator and headers consume a whole lot of your surface area, we want to insulate those things. So here's how we do it. Most framers make a what we call a box beam that's for a two by six wall, that's a two by six on the top and bottom of your standing on edge header material, which in our case, we have a triple two by 10. And so we have four and a half inches of framing in a five and a half inch two by six wall. So we have one inch of space. We go ahead and put one inch rigid foam insulation in there to create a thermal break between the outside air and indoor air. The third tip to build a better insulated home is to use Energy Star Corners. And what that means is that, is that we're adding a two by six onto the end stud of our bearing wall where that adjacent wall butts into it. So we leave backing for drywall on the inside, but leave that whole corner inside open to insulate it. So we're not packing out a whole bunch of studs just to get drywall backing. And, and having a whole solid wood corner that we can't really insulate. We're leaving that corner open, putting our backing just where we need it, and then we're insulating the entire cavity. That's called an energy star corner. Some people call it a California corner. Whatever you call it, it's an insulated corner and it improves the efficiency of your home significantly. So if you follow these three steps, you're gonna end up with a much better high performance home pretty easily. So that concludes our three framing tips for a better insulated home. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, smash that like button and consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss out on more helpful tips to build a better home.
see you on the next one. Until then, good luck and peace out.